welcome to the lecture on performance appraisal we are going to talk about this very important aspect of human resource management performance appraisal before we start with this lecture let me make one thing very clear i have found that many times students are a little uh, confused about the meaning of the word appraisal they confuse it with the word praising so they feel that performance appraisal means praising the uh, performance of an employee but it is not so performance appraisal is not praising so we have just started with seeing uh, what it is not but let us now try to find out what is performance appraisal a very very important aspect of human resource management now what is performance appraisal if we go by the definitions of performance appraisal by cd fisher the definition which has been given is that it is a process by which an employee's contribution to the organization during a specified period of time is assessed so it is that process by which an employee's contribution to the organization during a specified period of time is assessed now what does that mean it means performance appraisal is basically the assessment of performance how much has the employee performed and how much has that performance led to uh, the benefit of the organization how has that his or her performance contributed to the organization during a specified period of time so performance appraisal is basically the assessment of performance uh, in such a way that that performance must be beneficial to the organization how that has contributed to the organization another definition of uh, uh, performance appraisal is by michael crino and according to this definition uh, performance uh, appraisal is the process of assessing quantitative and qualitative aspects of an employee's job performance now in this definition please uh, note that quantitative and qualitative are important words here so the process of, uh, process of assessing quantitative and qualitative aspects of employee's job performance quantitative means how much how much has the employee been able to attain the goals as set by the organization and qualitative means how well the employee is performing so how much and how well the uh, the employee performs as per the goals that are set for him or her so that is the definition given by michael crino now coming to the second thing that is the uses of performance appraisal let us try to understand what are the various uses of performance appraisal for the organization uh, now the first thing it helps in giving feedback to the employees any employee when he is or she is working then must like the employee must come to know how well he is performing or if not well then what is going wrong with his performance so that means with the help of performance of this once the organization knows how uh, the employee is uh, employee is uh, performing that has to be uh, communicated back to the employee so that feedback to the employee is possible only after performance appraisal now changing behavior of the employee that is possible when we have uh, as an organization we have the uh, like we have what uh, is lacking in the performance or uh, uh, like how is the employee performing so once we know that only then we may think of changing the behavior of the employee towards the organization so that is very very important performance appraisal uh, it acts as a kind of a you can say a benchmark on the basis of which it has to be seen whether the uh, behavior of the employee needs to be changed or not so that is a very very important aspect now coming to creating a database this means creating a database related to what kind of employees an organization has does it need uh, the employees with different set of skills so um, with the help of the performance appraisal the organization comes to know what how many employees the organization has and how what are the various skills that the the um, these employees possess so this helps in creating a database which can be later used for many many different purposes which we will be seeing um, now so this database can be used for the purpose of tra uh, like understanding where training is needed whether the employees need training if they need training then in what aspects uh, they need training so what is lacking and uh, where training is required who needs training for that performance appraisal uh, reports are uh, taken into consideration then similarly for compensation pro um, procedure that means performance appraisal is uh, is used 
in order to see whether the, the employees are able to uh, perform well or not and based on that the co compensation for the employees can be set uh, how much is to be paid to the employee how is the employee like how much uh, should be the uh, like the compensation paid to the employee that can be set by with the help of uh, assessing the performance of the employee then performance appraisal may help in placing the employee at the right place so placement is basically pla uh, basically um, right person in at the right job so within the organization what uh, how well the employee performs in a particular um, job that uh, the employee has been given if that person is uh, performing well then that means uh, like he's been placed at the right place otherwise um, the, it, it, like the the employee can be shifted to the other place so uh, once we uh, the organization knows uh, what are the skill set uh, an employee has that helps in placing the employee within the organization in the right job so then coming to promotions so uh, based on the reports of the performance appraisal the employees may be promoted if the uh, employee is doing well then promotions can be based on the reports of the performance appraisal similarly discharge that means if the employee is not been able to uh, contribute much to the organization then th that may lead to the termination of the employee so that may lead to discharging uh, of the due uh, like uh, discharging the employee from the job so that uh, this is also decided on the basis of the performance appraisal of the employee again performance appraisal reports may lead to job satisfaction once the employee comes to know how well he is doing then he will be able to uh, like better his performance so and when whenever the and whenever the employee gets the feedback of a good performance that leads to more of job, job satisfaction so um, performance appraisal can help the employees in uh, feeling more satisfied with their jobs then manpower planning that means basically planning for future like how much how many employees will be required and how many like with what uh, skill set employees will be required for that performance appraisal can help because uh, with the help of performance appraisal the uh, organization comes to know uh, what is the present status that means we have these employees who are doing well uh, in what kind of skills so that will help us to plan for the future how many more we will be requiring or uh, or with what skill set we will be requiring the employee so that uh, performance appraisal can help in manpower planning also now it also acts as like uh, for helping in validation of selection procedures what does that mean if the performance appraisal reports show that most of the employees are doing well that means they have been that the procedure for selection that has been used those procedures are good that so uh, that means that with the help of performance appraisal uh, the organization comes to know whether the selection procedures they are good or not if most of the employees are not doing well that uh, the organization will come to know that we need to follow some other procedures for selection of employees so these are basically some of the uses of performance appraisal now coming to what is the process of performance appraisal it's very very important uh, aspect of human resource management and so the process must be understood well now let us see there are basically six steps to the pro like in the process of uh, performance appraisal let's go one by one to each step now the first step is establishing performance standards whenever we need to assess something we need to first set the standards take for example your exams also you should be knowing and like there should be some the college sets a standard or the university sets a standard as to how much will be considered as passing how much will be considered as um, like uh, having an a grade or o grade so that what are we doing like this we are setting standards that means if a person gets this this these many marks then um, the, the person is uh, getting this uh, grade if the person is getting more than these many marks that means he is passing otherwise he is failing so that that is basically establishing the standard so for any assessment first of all the standards need to be set now what does that mean this uh, and how does that take place this takes place with the help of job analysis you have seen before also what is meant by job analysis so with the help of job analysis with job description and job specification we come to know what uh, what are the various tasks which are required in a job and what are the kind of qualifications and the qual uh, qualities that a person uh, who is doing that job what kind of qualities are required so with the help of that 
the performance standards are set then criteria must be very very clear and objective the uh, objective means what it should not be uh, it should be free of all bias so the criteria that we set for the standards that should be absolutely clear and objective that means um, when the performance is being assessed of any employee it should be very clear when that performance will be considered up to the mark and what will be considered below the expected performance so that is what is meant by perform the, the setting the standard now again it these criteria must be discussed with the supervisors beforehand only then the performance standards can be set now coming to the second step it is that the standards must be communicated to the employees so we cannot have any standards set uh, like uh, without communicating those standards to uh, those for whom the standards are set it this uh, establishing of standards will not make any sense now think about it if you have your exams and if you do not know how many marks you need to pass how many marks will fetch you what grade that will not be the right thing to do right you always need to know what are the standards that are expected of you so this is the same process when um, up the process of performance appraisal also the standards when they are set it, these standards must be communicated to the employees so that means employees must know what is expected of them and standards may be modified as per the employees reactions if suppose when the standards are communicated this has a dual purpose one the employees must be knowing the other thing is that if the employees have any problems with the standards which have been set if they feel that this is too high uh, what is expected of them then standards may be modified also so these serve as dual purpose now the third step is measuring the performance once the standards are set then the performance needs to be measured and there may be different methods of perform uh, of uh, measuring the performance we'll be discussing about the measures the different methods later on so the right technique of measurement depending upon what kind of uh, performance appraisal is required for what kind of a job it is required that has to be seen then the next point is next step is comparing the actual performance with the standards which have been set so why are we setting the standard so that when the the employee actually performs we, we should be able to compare the performance so this uh, um, comparison of performance with the standard will come will uh, help the organization to know whether the performance is at par or not so this step is quite important now with the help of this step the deviations are revealed deviations in the sense that are the actual performance and standard which have been set if they are the same then fine if the actual is more than the standards that means definitely it's a very like the employee is doing good and if the actual performance is less than what the standards have been set then definitely the uh, the comparison shows that the performance is not at par so th that is what is meant by uh, the performance uh, this uh, com comparison may lead to positive or negative Uh, results so uh, by comparing only uh, we'll come to know the organization will come to know whether but the performance appraisal is positive or negative and this helps the organization to understand the strengths and the weaknesses of the employee now coming to the next step the next step is discussing the appraisal with the employee this is a very very important step performance appraisal is considered to uh, to be uh, effective Uh, only when the performance is discussed with the employee so it is very important that whatever has been found out and if any deviations have been found out then these should be discussed with the employee and it's a very very crucial step why because it uh, one has to be very sensitive in discussing the the appraisal of the employee with the employee now if the deviations whatever deviations are found they are analyzed and discussed with the employee the reasons are uh, found out why that happened and Uh, like if it is positive or it if it is negative both ways it needs to be discussed with the employee it is sensitive step because the employee um, may feel offended so the um, super, like if uh, uh, there is negative appraisal so definitely how it is to be communicated that is very very important now coming to the last step the 
purpose of performance appraisal is also that if there is the performance is not at par then some corrective action should be taken so taking the corrective actions on the basis of the report that you, that is generated or that means whatever performance appraisal has been uh, it has been seen then taking corrective actions if the performance has not been at par so this is also a very very important step this should be done in consultation with the employees so the basic purpose of performance appraisal is that it should help the organization in increasing the productivity of the employees and the employee should also feel satisfied so that is why taking corrective action should al always be in consultation with the employees so these are the, the, the various steps which are there for the process of performance appraisal thank you